Hey guys, Chef here with Ghost Night Gaming, and yeah, I know, I'm like, I'm going to do this consistently. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, this is another cosplay update, just kind of, or well, work in progress update and uh, proper commission update, mostly, because I haven't had a chance to work on my stuff just yet, yeah, trying to finish up a couple of things. So, for example, um, getting these uh, swords ready to go, so that their owner is going to take them home, including hand wrapping the whole, the handle there. So it's, I've only done it a couple of times, so it takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of time, but I also did this one as well. It's going to be really hard to see because it's white on white, but yeah, uh, basically, you know, that's essentially what it is. It's a nice, nice clean white on white with some detailing sash and all that kind of stuff. I've just got to do a little bit of cleanup on the scabbards a bit. Um, the scabbards were a big challenge because I changed how I wanted to do it a couple of times and uh, so I kind of delayed trying to work on that part and kind of getting it cleaned up but that's something I'm, I'm really uh, I'm okay with and you know it's something I'm going to keep improving on so it has a nice 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 guard. You know, and uh, so the crest was uh, cardboard blade, and yeah, we did it as such. But you know, I'd say it turned out pretty good. You know, all fancy like and such. Uh, also working on getting uh, getting finishing fitting, and uh, doing straps for a Mandalorian armor set. You know, still this guy's still kind of here, and I got to get him to his next. <coughs> uh, pardon me, his next step in the next week or so but I've started basically grabbing all my strapping and stuff like that to start piecemealing and piecing together all of the armor so they can start being assembled so one of the other things I've been doing is getting uh, some of the armor pieces shaped so this piece is actually supposed to be a shoulder piece so you can see I've got that shape now so even without the strap it's actually, it's actually sitting quite nice so and basically all you uh, all you do if you want to get that shaped and have it retain as much of that shape as possible, especially once you start adding straps to start strapping on the body parts. You don't want too much of that shifting as I basically took my heat gun, applied some heat to it, making sure that I'm not staying in one spot for long. I don't want to burn my foam or melt it or any of that stuff. I shaped it, or heated up at least, and then I basically grabbed some straps and strapped it to my uh, my bottle of, uh, of Mod Podge here. Reveal the truth. It's actually a bottle of Mod Podge. I need a second one so I can do two at the same time. But basically, do that, heat it up, let it sit for however long, depending on what you've got for time. You can let it uh, sit for a couple hours, or you can, like this one, this one's been sitting for about three days. <laughs> so it should retain its shape fairly, fairly well, as long as you don't uh, press anything on top of it. So it's a good way to get that shape that you want and have it stay that way. And if, depending on the size of the piece you're doing, it's fine stuff you can basically attach things to. So hopefully on the, uh, well, the next update, we're basically gonna have all our strapping done and everything attached and it looks like it'll be ready for fitting. Uh, so, you know, you'll test all that kind of stuff. Another thing that I did relating to the armor is we built uh, this. Oh, you're not sticking very well right now. I gotta restick some of it, but basically, you know, attached some armor to a uh, tactical piece, and now it sits on there. So I just gotta play around with it a bit, make sure it's all nice and secure. So it looks like that's shifted a bit, like a lot. So we're gonna fix that. Um, so let me take a look at that right now. It basically comes down to, I'm just gotta press, press that back on. Now, one of the things I'm probably gonna do is I'm actually gonna stitch the back of that, cause it's got, uh, I've got it Velcroed to it. So I'm going to stitch the back end of the Velcro to the different uh, pouch pieces. So nothing that can't uh, be taken off if it doesn't uh, n uh, need to be on later, but it's something that's not going to hinder other uses of that of that vest. So, and it increases the uh, the chance that that's going to stay uh, connected to that piece. So a little bit of extra work if you want to make sure things aren't being a problem and I'll probably show more information on that and more details on that later. Uh, learn how to do tinting uh, earlier this week. I didn't intend to have some video stuff on that but uh, this was actually so the shelf for this one or the uh, 
a little piece in there, is actually a clear piece of uh, uh, for for a safety visor. And all I did was I grabbed car tint, just like this stuff here, and tinted it myself. Uh, if it's something you guys want to see me do and some of the process, because it's a bit of a process and it's going to take some practice if you want it to look really, really, really good. There's a couple of air bubbles and stuff like that in there that's a pain to, to kind of get through. But if you practice and work with it, use some test pieces, you can uh, get that figured out. But I'll have uh, some of the stuff that I used for, for that, uh, some of the foam, all that kind of stuff, all uh, down in the description. We're going to be working on getting uh, these projects finished up. We've got another project to start. I've got a couple of uh, personal projects I'm going to be starting to at least template out in the next little bit. I do have one I've already templated, but I need large enough foam pieces to be able to make that one. And we're going to get started on that. And then other than that, yeah, there's a couple other build pieces I'm going to be working on. Things are a little chaotic right now. <laughs> um, uh, for anybody watching this right now, obviously our big uh, issue is actually this whole coronavirus thing and how it's affecting uh, just kind of any public event uh, worldwide. Uh, so it's 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 on a massive scale. So <laughs> we've got a lot of people trying to deal with stuff like that. So I'm basically going to do this. I'm just going to craft stuff and uh, see how things go. We'll see how it affects conventions and stuff like that. So some of the uh, convention appearances that I wanted to be doing may not happen because of this, depending on how things go. If not, uh, well, we'll figure things out. Of course, you can check me out on Twitch. Uh, I can still do that with no problem. So you can check me out on Twitch. I, I gotta clean up the schedule uh, to deal with a lot of stuff and some of the schedule is kind of going to be uh, played around with uh, a bit right now just because of how current events are. I might actually be able to stream a bit more. Um, odds are if you heard that it's because I didn't turn off my phone <laughs> and there is a Chocobo uh, really seeking my attention. think that's everything at this point. I'm hoping to have a bunch of other different updates. Of course, for more consistent updating, uh, be sure to chat with me on Twitch, check out my Instagram. I'm working on the Facebook working on the Facebook. There's other YouTube videos uh, going on. I've got some scripts I'm writing, finishing up, starting to voice record, but we've still got the Oblivion Let's Play going on. We're going to try to be as relatively consistent with this one as we can be, depending on my schedule. And that's all I can think of right now. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you have any questions, be sure to ask those as well. Check out my other social media, which will be in the description, including my Discord. And... Have fun, keep gaming, keep creating, and I'll see you guys again next time.